Okay, so this video today is designed to help two different types of people. The first type is, I've started my freight broker business and I'm struggling a little bit. I'm not moving loads yet. And I'm getting a little bit frustrated. I need some help. I'm trying to get this thing figured out. And what I wanna do is tell you to say, hey, calm down, relax, don't get bent out of shape. That's how it goes. We have to figure a lot of things out when we first get started in this business. So just relax, I got your back. Number two, the second type of person that this video is gonna help immensely is the person that who's started their freight broker business already. They may have been doing it now for one or two years. They have actually gotten some footing in their business. They've started to build on their foundation. They're moving loads, but they're not moving loads at the rate that they would like. They know that there's a whole lot more out there that they can get out of the business, but they can't seem to find traction. They can't seem to figure it out just yet. And what I want you to know is that that comes with the territory as well. That's what happens when we first get started. We got to, you know, go through some turbulence and figure out how to get out on the other side and get to the smooth air, so to speak. And I want to help you get to that smooth, smoother air, I should say. Now, where the smoother air lies is in your opportunities. You're not getting the opportunities that you need in order to get that first load moved if you fall in that first category. And you're not getting the opportunities that you need to get the traction that you want to move your business faster and grow it at a faster pace if you fall in that second category. You're not getting to that point because you're not having those opportunities. Now, why aren't you having opportunities? Well, you're not having those opportunities because you're sitting down and you're waiting for your phone to ring. You're waiting for an email to come through to say, hey, we want you to bid on some freight or can you give us a quote on this lane? And that's okay, but that's a very slow way of doing business. What I wanna introduce you today is to the proactive way of doing business where you have access 24 seven to freight. I know, you didn't know about that, I got it. <laughs> but you can have access to your shipper's TMS with a username and password, or you, have, you can have an integration into that TMS and you can have access to all of their freight or the freight that you've been um, you know, designated. You may have certain lanes that you've been designated or certain regions that they have or give you access to. But you have access to a whole lot more freight than just sitting around waiting for somebody to send you an email because that's the slow way. So I wanna go into my system today and show you how that works. I'm gonna give you a look into my system so you can see how you can have access to that freight, how you can you know, start to take more control of your time, scheduling freight when you wanna move freight as opposed to just sitting and waiting and you know, hoping that the shipper calls or hoping that the sh shipper sends you um, some rate requests. We don't wanna hope. We wanna get out of the hope game and get proactive and start going after freight. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's get to the business. So quick clarification, I used an acronym TMS earlier. That means transportation management system. I as a freight broker usually have my own TMS that I manage the movement of a shipper's freight, but also sometimes shippers will have their own TMS and you can integrate into that TMS or you can have a username and password so you can have access to that shipper's freight. So a TMS is the transportation management system. That's what I wanted to make sure that we clarify before we move further. Okay, so as you can see, I have logged into my system. I've logged into the customer's TMS system. Now, what I want you to think about for a minute is, you know that if you've been building a freight broker business or you're getting ready to start building a freight broker business, you're going to soon find out if you have not already found out that it is a task in and of itself to have freight that for you to bid on every single day. That's a task. You know, that's something that you have to build towards. Uh, but what I was saying earlier is you can do one of two things. You can wait on cold calling and just say, hey, I'm gonna depend on cold calling. And then once I get a customer, I'm gonna wait for customers to send me loads. You know, and that's just like, you know, sitting around twiddling your thumbs, waiting for customers to send you freight for you to bid on. 
Now, that's kind of like watching paint dry sometimes. So when you compare that to what I'm going to show you today, you're going to definitely see that you would probably like to have this as an option as well. I'm not saying that you shouldn't cold call. Cold calling is a part of it. But we don't want to just depend on cold calling because that's the slow, very slow method of getting customers and then not only getting the customer, but having the type of customers where you can access freight at your convenience, get access to a lot of your shippers freight at one time so you'll have the option to bid. So that's what we're showing you here. Now I'm going to go through here and I'm going to, uh, of course, block out all of the stuff that has my shipper information on it. And I'm not going to dig too deep into this, but I'm going to give you some idea of what it is that I'm talking about when I'm saying having another option other than just cold calling and waiting for shippers to send you freight, okay? This is gonna give you an opportunity to go out and be proactive and find freight and bid on that freight, you know, as you like. All right, so if you look up here, I'm gonna go into tender and then I'm gonna go into respond to offers, okay? When I hit that respond to offers button, then what I'm gonna get is says, view 185 open spot market reports. So I'm going to go ahead and click on those spot market reports because I want to see what's available out there for me to say, hey, what, are, what lows do I want to move? Where do I have assets at that I can provide um, some trucks to some of the lows that may be need, needed, made, needing moved on here? So let me click on this here. You know, we always have a problem when we click on things and we want them to respond quickly when we're doing a video. Uh, it takes a little while for the internet to show up sometimes. Okay, but here it goes. All right, so as you can see, when I click on this, I, I have all of the loads. If you can see, it's about 10 pages of loads available here for me, or eight pages available of loads, 185 total loads. I can come in here and I can say, okay, which of these loads do I want to bid on? You know, where do I have assets set? You know, where, I, where, where would I make the most money? You know, when I look at where I have assets at, where they need loads moved at, where, where can I, where, where is the best, you know, strategic move when it comes down to moving these lanes? Where, what strategically am I going to do to position myself to have uh, the best chance of servicing the customer and making a little money? Okay, so let's look in here. I'm just going to go in here at random and I'm just going to choose the first one here and click bid. As you can see, all of these are like um, our... That, that number right here is an in-process, in-progress number tells you that this load is open, like a PO number, a purchase order number. So I'm going to go ahead and click on bid. Now, when I click on bid, what it's going to do is give me some of the details within this load. It's going to say, if you notice here, it says this load is available 916. That means that it's been available since September 16th and it hasn't been picked up yet. So you would simply change the dates to the day's date if you had a load available or had a truck available for this load, and then you would go in, and as you can see here, there's a bid amount. There's a number of miles in here. Uh, you know, equipment container, what type of equipment are you gonna be using, the driver's number, the driver phone number, and all of that good stuff, when you decide to go ahead and bid on one of these lanes. But if this is what we're talking about. Having different points where you can come in, like that's just one load. If I go back to respond to offers, then I can look at some other things that I might look at here and say, you know what? I want to move these loads on these particular days. I can go down and choose that when I look at the respond to offers. Let's go back and see if it'll let us back there. And we go back in the respond to offers again. I'm going to click on the spot market tenders that are available and open. And it comes back and it shows me all of these that are available. So if I came down here and looked at one, let's just say uh, it needed to be delivered. By 10 9 let's look at this what they have here all the way here at the bottom okay when I look in here I come in here and say okay what are the special instructions rebar shipped and it must be codable all right so I'm gonna take a look at that and if I wanted to bid on that it's a total of 46,000 pounds you know I would tell would take a look at what I have for and it's gonna be moving uh, picking up in Marion Ohio and going to Carlisle Pennsylvania you know, so I would take a look at that and see, you know, what would I come in and say, okay, I'm going to bid X amount of dollars on this load. And then I would submit that bid. And then we would get a uh, heads up in an email and in the system, it would let us know if we have been awarded that particular load. And then you just move the loads according to 
what you want to move. It's not like you're waiting, sitting around, twiddling your thumbs, hoping that one of your, your, your shippers sends you a load. That is the slow method of, of you know, growing your business. That's the slow method of making money. We want to have access to loads where we can go in and bid on different loads as often as you like. If you want to move loads on Saturday and Sunday, you can go in and find loads that are moving on those days. You know, it just depends on what it is that you want to do when you have assets available and how you want to operate your business. You know, this gives you the, you know, to kind of you know, be able to look at it and say, hey, there are certain days that I'm off if you were doing it part time and I'm going to bid on loads on days that I'm going to I'm going to be off. And, you know, that way. I don't have to be concerned about being at work and trying to move loads at the same time. I'll just move loads on my off days if that's what you decide to do. But the whole idea is to have opportunities. That's the key here. I don't care what anybody tells you about freight brokering. What freight brokering boils down to, bottom line is you must have opportunities to move freight in order for you to make money. If you have opportunities, there's a possibility you can make money. Okay, so I'm sure you were able to see the benefit of having that access to that type of system, a system that gives you access to freight 24 seven, you can go in and bid on it at your convenience. Surely you can see the benefit of that type of system, right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the next question of what people usually say is, hey Brandon, how can I get access to that system? What do I have to do to get that type of customer? And what it boils down to is talking to customers, talking to different customers. I've had customers that had $50 million in annual revenue that used TMS systems. And then I've had customers that had 25 billion that used TMS systems. So it just depends on whether or not that company use it or if they're doing it manually. So what you wanna do is just start talking to them, finding out what's going on. How does your operation work? How can I get you know, to know more about what it is that you do? And when you start talking and having those conversations, then you figure out, oh, bam, they have a TMS system. That is how they get freight out to freight brokers and carriers and or di different partners that they have. That is how they do it. So then when you figure that out, now it's about getting set up and then getting access to that system, whether it's gonna be through a username and password or through an integration if they have the same TMS system that you may have. But it's much easier just to get username and password, access to that system, and then you can go in and start bidding on freight just like I showed you here in this system. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I certainly hope this has been helpful. Now that I've provided some value to you, I wanna ask you for a small favor. If you like this video, I certainly would appreciate it if you take the time to make that like turn button turn blue. It does a lot for our channel, helps us to get viewed by no, more viewers. So I certainly would appreciate that. Also, if you would, don't forget to subscribe if you like these type of videos. And then the last thing that I want you to do is to hit that notification bell. That notification bell will make sure that when I make a video, then you will be notified to say, hey, Brandon just made a video and it will be accessible to you right away. So I certainly would appreciate that. Thank you so much in advance. Now, the last thing that I have for you, if you would, if you're interested in learning more about the freight broker business, you don't want to hear somebody just talking about it. And you don't want somebody just telling you about a theory, what they think it's supposed to be or what it should be, because that's what happens a lot of times. A lot of people don't show you systems like I showed you today. Most freight brokers or freight broker trainers are not going to go in and show you that type of system. One, because most of them are just dependent on moving freight the old way, and that is waiting for shippers to send them freight. And, or I should say, number 1A is they said they are not moving freight themselves. Most freight broker trainers, and I'm just letting you know what the real deal is here, are not freight brokers. They're talking about a concept, or they're talking about something they heard about, something they may have received training on, but many of them have never moved a load. Now, it's some out there that are actually moving loads, but for the most part, you have to look very, very closely to see who's actually moving loads. And when I come in here and I show you a system that we use to actually move loads, you're not gonna see that very often out there in the, amongst the freight broker talking heads. 
because more than likely you're gonna hear a lot of talking, but not a lot of showing you exactly what it is, what's going on. So that's what I wanna do. I wanna bring you in and give you an opportunity to sign up for my free five video series titled, How the Load Movement Process Works. And that, what that's gonna do is give you the chance to come in and watch me as I move freight, talk to shippers and carriers. That way you can see how this thing works. And then after you see how it works, you can say, hey, now I'm interested in investing some of my time, energy, and effort in perhaps building uh, a freight broker business. So go to my website at www.brandonthefreightbroker.com and wait for the pop-up to appear. And when it does, you'll be able to sign up for that free five video series titled How the Load Movement Process Works. Once you do that, we'll start sending those videos out to you. So thank you so much for spending some of your time with me today. I surely appreciate it. I wish you the very best in your life and your business. See you at the top because the bottom is much too crowded.